Hello, guys and gals, me, Mudahar, and welcome to Deep Web Browsing, episode number 85, the series where we take a look at the side of the internet that's a little too dank for regular viewing. Now, it's 85 episodes in so far, ladies and gentlemen. Today, as always, it's going to be an entirely random affair. I have no idea what we're going to come across, but hopefully it's going to be something dank, something mysterious, hopefully some conspiracies, maybe a little bit of aliens, and frankly, maybe even some uh, sexual stuff. I don't fucking know, but all I do know is that it is going to be a fine Sunday, as always. And hopefully you have an enjoyable video and a very amazing day right afterwards. So with that being said, let us get started into the very first website. So the first one is Lust and Adultery. Woo! Starting off spicy for this video. The hottest site on the net. Are you at least 18 years of age? This free adult site contains hardcore truth. So only real men should enter. <laughs> you know the best part about it is? It's fucking... This is, this is at a time where you could assume a gender, I guess. Do you like to lust? Do you long for adultery? Then this is a must-see site for you, and you get a link to just pure lust. So what I'm expecting over here is some fucking porn, maybe? Let's just hit enter and see what we got. Oh, we're loading up lust. Whoever looks upon a woman to lust after her has committed adultery in his heart. Oh, I got baited, motherfucker. Click here to leave this page immediately. Or what happens if I leave the page? Oh, clearly it doesn't matter if I leave the page. I'm going to go over there anyways. All right, let's hit, let's hit continue. Many years ago, there was a popular hit song called American Pie. It contained the words, did you write the book of love? Do you have faith in God above? Do you believe in rock and roll? Can music save your mortal soul? Yeah, that's really catchy. Then it repeated the words, this could be the day that I die. Sobering but true. This could be the day that you die. In fact, every 24 hours, about 140 grand, 140,000 people die. The biblical explanation of why we die is fascinating. It says we die because we have broken an uncompromising law. Let's see if you have broken that law. Okay, look. I, I, see, that's a little weird. I mean, I think I think people die of natural causes all the time, you know. But it is true today. You could you could ice yourself, so you know, live every day like it's your last. I guess in moderation. Be be nice to those. I don't fucking this 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 ain't where you get in your morals from. Okay, this is not the video. Let's hit continue. One of the Ten Commandments, and please don't turn the comment section to a religious turf for, I just got baited into a porn site with with the Ten Commandments, is you shall not commit adultery if you, wow, Frida has a lot of religious stuff too, by the way, I must say. If you, if you ever even looked at another person with lustful thoughts, according to God's standards, that makes you an adulterer. Oh man, I am adulting every fucking day when I see Cape. Jesus said, you have heard it said, you shall not commit adultery. But I say to you that whoever looks on a woman to lust after her has committed adultery with her already in the heart. I love how this is very male focused. Like it just fucking assumes that women can't have lustful thoughts at all. Yo, what's that shit about list lustadultery.com? Tell me only men can do fucking adultery. What the fuck is this? All right. What, 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 what's going on here? Jesus went on to say that it'd be better for you to be blind and go to heaven than for your eye to cause you to sin and end up in hell. The Bible says that every secret sin is laid bare before the holy eyes of God. God will punish all adulterers and fornicators as a supernatural, and he will go even further right down to judging our secret thoughts and every dark deed in darkness. Man, it's like, that's a curse with free thinking, man. It's like, if you think too hard and it's... <laughs> See, I already got, already got dirty thoughts. Oh man, oh my god, it's going even further. God's laws demands justice, and the penalty for sinning against him is death and hell. Listen carefully if you want want to you know, I feel like I feel like whoever made this site is like the most avid porn watcher on the fucking planet. Okay, what is this? Would you sell one of your eyes for a million dolans? Would you sell both for fifty million? I'm sure you wouldn't. No, there I wouldn't sell my eyes. I'd make the fifty million dolans elsewhere. Yet they are merely the windows of your soul. What then? Okay, you, you know, like, I guarantee you the dude who made the site, by the way, too, is probably the most avid porn enthusiast in the entire world. Like, it's always the fucking people that do that shit the most that get all fucking preachy about it. I swear to God. Now, this is my personal experience. I'm not going to, like, turn this into that. It's just, like, from my personal experience, like, I, I, fuck, I fucking knew a guy who would get, like, really preachy. The one time... When I caught him watching porn, it was like I had the Lenny face on the entire time when I was like, oh, you're, you're watching seven, so you're watching a gangbang there? <laughs> you know what I mean? All right, let's go to listen to true and false conversion. That's an external link. Ten ways to break the stronghold of porn and listen to hell's best kept secret. Oh, boy. 
This goes to Living Waters. Oh wait, is this like their deep web fucking freenet link or some shit? Let me actually figure this out. Go to the go to the site. Well, apparently, apparently it's uh, the whole fornication was 404 page not found. Clearly, they don't want they want to be you know anti foreign ten ways to break the stronghold of porn. Would you ever take porn to church and look at it during worship? You may as well because God is just as per- okay. But see, that's the difference. Okay, you wouldn't you wouldn't jerk it off in your fucking you know like dining room. Okay, like that's where you fucking eat. All right, like there's some people who probably like have hot video sex in their kitchen on like a family computer. Like that shit's wrong. Okay, if you're in the bathroom or your bedroom, okay, that's a little bit different, I guess. Face the fact that you may not be saved. Savage. Oh man. Realize that you, when you give yourself to porn, you are committing adultery. Grasp the <laughs> grasp the serious nature of your sin. Okay, those who profess, read Psalm, memorize, I'm telling you, man, some of the people that, like, tell you, hell's best kept secret, oh, you're gonna make me download? Show, show me the transcript, how about that? Show me the PDF of hell's best kept secret. You know what, I'm not even gonna bother downloading it, we'll keep hell's best kept secret for another video, how about that? So, ladies and gentlemen, I came across pornography, alright, the sites that I was expect. oh man, I could have actually opened a fucking porn... We came across the hottest site on the internet, and you know what? It was a site that made me feel like a real asshole for... I mean, god damn, dude, it makes you feel bad. <laughs> Jesus. It's like, it's not a good start to the series, okay? Like, you can't just make me feel bad. What do you mean only real men can enter? Women, y'all are totally fine when you gotta look up lusty adulterous pornography. That's... You're all game. Guys like me and the other people watching? You know, not the other people... Well, what the... That was fucked up. Guys like me and any male watching, all right? I'm a little tired. We, we we can't go. We can't even be saved. Let's go to the next site. The Jokes Archive. Woo! Who says you can't find a hot meme on the internet, right? If you look hard enough. This is an archive of the postings to the joke board on Frost and the Freenet message system. Oh, I was a car driving by. I was like, what? All right. So here we go. The site has an active link now. The Frost board is still flooded. So these are some jokes, all right? And this is now this is uh, upload February the 29th. Hmm. Interesting. I was actually... No, that's last year. Jesus Christ. Now, this, these are all hot jokes that were amassed in archives. So let's look into them, okay? This bloke with Tourette syndrome walks into the most exclusive restaurant in town. Where's the pissing motherfucking manager, you cocksucking arsewipe? Oh, this is a European, okay? He inquires of one of the waiters. The waiter is taken aback and replies, Excuse me, sir, but could you please refrain from using that sort of language in here? I'll get the manager as soon as I can. The manager comes over and the bloke asks, are you the fucking manager of this bastard place? Yes, sir, I am, replies the manager. Why am I giving them all different accents? But I would prefer it if you would refrain from speaking such profanities in this, a private restaurant. Fuck off, replies the bloke. And where's the fucking piano? Pardon, says the manager. Fucking deaf as well, are we, you sniveling little piece of shit? Show me your cunting piano. See, I don't think this is a joke. I think you guys are just making shit up now. I've never heard the word cunting piano. That's that's a fucking new one. <laughs> replies the manager. You come about the pianist job, and he shows the bloke to the piano. Can you play any blues? Of course I fucking can. And the bloke proceeds to play the most inspiring and beautiful sounding honky-tonk blues that the manager has ever heard. That's superb. What's it called? I tried to shag your missus on the sofa, but her springs kept hurt but the springs kept hurting my dick, replies the bloke. How are you having sex on the sofa if the spring is hurting your dick? What? Like, wait, that doesn't even make any sense. Like, that, that is, an, that is, that is, that is from an, that is, that is actually stupid. The manager is a bit disturbed and asks the bloke knows any jazz. You like jazz? <laughs> the bloke proceeds, playing the most melancholy jazz solo the manager has ever heard. Magnificent, cries the manager. What's it called? I wanted to wank over the washing machine, but I got my balls caught in the soap drawer. Ow, gee, what is a joke here? The manager is a tad embarrassed and asks if he knows any romantic ballads. The book then plays the most heartbreaking melody the manager has ever called. And what's this called, asks the manager. As I fuck you under the stars with the moonlight shining off your hairy ring piece, replies the bloke. The manager is highly upset by the bloke's language, but offers him the job on the condition that he doesn't introduce any of his songs or talk to any of his customers. The arrangement works well for a couple of months until one night. Sitting up opposite him is the most gorgeous blonde he has ever laid his eyes on. She's wearing an almost see-through dress. Her breasts are almost falling at the top of her black lace bra. And the skimpy little g-string she's wearing is doing very little to conceal her ample charms. 
She's sitting there with her legs slightly open, sucking aggressively, sucking, su sucking suggestively on asparagus shoots as the butter is dripping down her chin. <laughs> the image is too much for the bloke and he scurries off to the gents to masturbate. Wow, dude, we just we just came from the fucking most holiest of anti-lusting sites, and we're just usually gonna fap on the bath. People, people piss there. Okay, he's tugging away furiously when he hears the manager's voice. Where's the bastard pianist? He just has a time to relieve himself, and in a fluster, he runs back to the piano, having not bothered to adjust himself properly. It's not like dangerously close to a situation where like. Like if you're if you're like jerking off or like with your your parents are in the house, you, you like yell for your mother and shit, but you don't fucking put it back in. You just straight up keep going until it comes out. Like that's that's some danger faps level territory this dude's on. Sits down and starts playing some more tunes. The blonde steps up and walks over to the piano, leans over and whispers in his ear, "Do you know your knob and bollocks are hanging out your trousers and dripping spunk in your shoes?" "Know it," the bloke replies. "I fucking wrote it." <laughs> okay, <laughs> all right, that was. That was something. That was actually that was that was a, that that was a, that was a lengthy joke, but was the payoff worth it? Slightly. Ah, wow, they got a whole batch of jokes here. Jesus, why was the Buddha sad when he asked to send his resume to the company as a word document via email? Attachment leads to suffering. Ah, oh, gee. Oh, oh my God. Damn. I swear, dude. I swear. My girlfriend would love these puns. Hello, is this the sheriff's office? Hey, what can I do for you? I'm calling to report about my neighbor, Virgil Smith. He's hiding marijuana inside his firewood. Don't know how he gets it inside them logs, but he's hiding it there. Thank you so very much for the call, sir. The next day, search the shed where the fire bust open, find no marijuana. Hey, Virgil, this is Floyd. Did the sheriff come? Yeah, did they chop your fire hood? Yep. Happy birthday, buddy. <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right, you know what? I think I think we got enough of these fucking cringe-laden jokes. I think it's time we, uh, I think it's time we back the fuck out and hit something else. These were some mm, lit jokes, I'll tell you, but it's time we, it's time we, uh, tuck down the comedic intensities and go to something else. You need a pokey flute to continue the personal flog of Snorlax. Oh, y'all know Snorlax, that thick motherfucker who's just sitting on that pathway. You gotta have the pokey flute to continue. You go to like Silfco and shit. Here's Snorlax's blog. Now I clicked on this because you know Snorlax is a pretty cute, cute, cute Pokemon. Let's be a Snorlax is fucking lovely. But uh, we might as well read what this is all about. You know how much similarities this vlog has to fucking actual Snorlax. So it's got like Snorlax's face. So yeah, there's a little bit of a, a little bit of a connection there. It's got pokey flute. That's a, that's about two connections. We got the one thing on 2013. By the way, a lot of these are fucking old. Aquarium. I just got my first aquarium. Ten gallon tank with eight fish. It contains six neon tetras and two glass catfish. Hopefully they stay alive to the extent of their lifespans and bring anyone who views them joy and happiness. When I was a kid, I remember my parents did get like, a, you know, an aquarium and stuff with like these exact same kind of, not these exact same kind, but just like goldfish. Oh my God, dude. I loved them so much until the day they died. And that was like the saddest fucking day ever, dude. I straight up cried after losing my goldfish. I should probably get more fish sometimes. That's the only fucking post he's made. Jesus Christ. The only post Snorlax ever made was about aquariums. You're really sticking true to your goddamn like character. You've fallen asleep, motherfucker. All right. So they're named as follows. Sir Beastman Glass Catfish. Sir Skeletor. <laughs> I love this guy. And the Neon Tetras go as uh, pow, zap, bang, beep, slurp, and foomp. All right, look, man, I know you're going to name, like, fishes. How the fuck are you going to individually name these motherfuckers? I mean, come on, now. You can't get too attached to the fishies. They're so cute, though. I love them. They're so perfect. I love how you can, like, see their skeletons as they go across. I need to get these fish, man. Fish are literally some of the most cutest ones ever. The cutest animals in the world, dude. First post. First post is the most important one. Evar. Not really. Okay, so we only have two posts. I came onto the ever-loving, like, fucking page of Snor- What? What does a permanent link mean? Oh, man, this is it? Dude, come on, man. What is this nonsense? What is the Atom feed? You know, you know what, man? You know what I hate about these things so much? Is, like, sometimes, like, you come across and people start these, like, vlogs that you really want to read. Because I think a lot of the most interesting parts of the Deep Web series is, like, looking at, like, individuals, like, blogs and shit like that. Because- Frankly, you can get, like, some interesting stuff out of it, too, but, you know, sometimes they don't even fucking do anything. They just, like, make these vlogs and abandon them and, like, 
in like a day, really. Like I was what, 2013, 08, 21? That would make, yeah, literally a day this vlog lasted. After that, it's like dead. 821. 8 oh, dude, it died. This guy got his fish and apparently the fish was just, were so dank that the dude was like, man, I got to spend all my time with the fishies. Maybe the Snorlax blog will come back. Maybe, but frankly, it's been inactive for like four fucking years now, almost. So we might, as well, we, we might as well just consider this a dead vlog and let's go to something else. So this is one of the many sites that exist on the internet. Now, as I was browsing through, I found this site on Tor called Freedom Hosting 2. You have been hacked. For those of you who don't know what Freedom Hosting 2 is, them and there's like Liberty Hosting. There's like a bunch of – there's like a group – there's like groups of people on the deep web that you can go to to host You know, your site. It's sort of like – buying a domain on the internet, right? You go to like sites like GoDaddy or things like that, right? Like you go and purchase a domain from them and frankly, then you can post stuff. So over here, people bought domains from Freedom Hosting 2. Now for a while, I've noticed that Freedom Hosting 2 has gotten a lot of hacks going on to it and here is one of the mentionings of said hack. So here's what it says. We are disappointed. This is an excerpt from your front page. We have a zero tolerance policy on child porn. From what we found while searching through your server is more than 50% child porn. That's that's a thing, man. It happens. I mean, look, you know, I don't I don't know the exact metrics though. If they found 50% child porn, that's Jesus Christ. Moreover, you host many scam sites, some of which are evidently run by yourselves to cover hosting expenses. So what is it like? Oh yeah, people buy scam merchandise so they can pay for their okay. All your files have been copied and your database has been dumped. 74 gigs of files and 2.3 gigs of database. Thank you for your patience. You don't have to buy data. We made a torrent of the database. Ooh. They made a torrent. Ooh, you can actually get the whole database there? Jesus. God damn. That's the whole data. Oh. You may still donate BTC and support. If you ever need to get in contact with us, our mail is fhosting at sagaint.org. Up to January 31st, we were hosting, you were hosting 10,613 sites. Private keys are included in the dump show full list. They got a whole site over here? We are anonymous. We do not forgive. We do not forget. You should have expected us. So anonymous, apparently a group going by anonymous may handle, apparently completely fucking shattered these individuals. You go to their site list. Holy, these are all the sites that they were hosting. Now, I would not recommend going to any one of these sites. I totally tell you not to. Just because they did say like 50% of what they found was like child porn. Do not go to these sites, right? Like just randomly. Um, you can sort of tell at the beginning of a link to a site, like if it says something like, you know, Bitcoin or like something like mixing or something like that, and then the whole string of numbers and stuff, that might be safe. But sometimes, you know, you could be walking to something random. So don't, don't even download the dump, I would say, just because if they did find about, again, 50% child porn, you would in theory be downloading child pornography to your computer. And that is incredibly illegal and you shouldn't be fucking doing it. So... Take of it what you will, but ladies and gents, apparently Freedom Hosting 2 got a massive hack and Anonymous was behind it, so I kind of do enjoy it. Sometimes I do like showing you all these uh, these sites because, frankly, when you walk into the deep web, like every weekend, there's like the one rare time where you walk into like a fucking, what well, I would say the equivalent of a wasteland, right? Where like some fucking nasty shit went down, so like Freedom Hosting 2, you know, they were taken down because, and again, I don't know, I'm not a fucking, I don't know if they really had 50% child porn, but if this group is to be believed, this anonymous group, then Jesus fucking Christ, dude. 10,000 sites and about 50, let's, I mean, ballpark 50% of whatever was on these sites was unfortunately child porn. And I hate to be like, you know, the, I don't want to ever fear monger somebody. Of course, for 50% of that, there was also 50% of normal, I guess, non-risque shit like that, maybe. Um, but the thing is, it's like, you can find any, any of that stuff, even on the clear web or whatever. It's just when you give people the anonymity, you know, it's almost like YouTube comments, right? Deep Web is a lot like a YouTube comment section. When people get the anonymity, you know, they can do whatever the fuck they want. You know, you know, YouTube YouTube comments are a lot like, you know, these Deep Web sites give a little bit of anonymity and you can do whatever the fuck you want. You know what I mean? You you tend to you tend to get that little feeling inside you where, you know, <laughs> you're you're the you're the one who makes the whole like choice decisions, I guess you could say. I don't I don't know. I guess I'm kinda of rambling at this point. But we saw a hack being witnessed, so let's get out of here and go to something else. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we got a deep web video for the week, about 52 seconds long, pretty much up there with our average for deep web videos. Again, these aren't going to be terribly long videos unless, you know, they were compressed to ever-loving shit. But we got a 52-second video over here, ladies and gentlemen. There's not much for me to really say other than 
let's get right into it. And frankly, you know, after watching it, analyze the ever-loving hell out of it. But right now I'm seeing what looks to be just um uh, just a jumble of just 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 a fucking mess, really. So let's just sit play and see what it's all about. Ooh. Love it. It looks all Illuminati-esque. Entry. So here's your Okay. Somebody's face. Who are the liars? Oh my god, I feel like I've seen this shit. Jesus Christ. It's the ARC stuff, man. I swear it's that text that always gets used. Are you one of them? If somebody's clearly saying something, well, I'm, I don't know. No. Are you both of them? There was like a logo there, too. Remember to look behind you. Okay, Jesus. Ch chill out there. That really hurts my ears, thank you very much. That was the closest to a screamer might have gotten it. 112, 126, 547. Oh, okay, I was reading that. It's just a bunch of numbers. Like, what, is an, what, are the, what do the numbers mean, Mason? But, ladies and gentlemen, that was a very interesting video. I swear I think we've seen it before just because of the VCR font. I swear I'm getting sick and tired of seeing that same fucking VCR font everywhere I go to. Um, I think usually the best is probably like the deep web vlogs, really, where the guy never talks. He just like roams around like a fuck, and that's really it. But here we've got entry 001. That's 000. 000. 0.129519. I don't know why you have the decimals over there. That's really interesting. We've got this nice looking face, I guess, which I haven't really seen before, but it animates itself throughout the rest of the video. And one thing I will say is it's got this ZX Spectrum level of like visual fidelity to it which i haven't seen in a while but usually to cut that stuff together it takes a little bit of animation prowess i must say now the thing is when you go over here you got this dude's face who i've never seen before but clearly you know they're the director of this entire thing get them getting a little bit of that leon s kennedy feel going there who are the liars well i, I don't I, I don't fucking know you know I, I feel like i don't watch these things in sequence enough to even get half of the fucking referencing or whatnot but then they got this person sitting on the bed all right, but again, I gotta say, I love the ZX Spectrum style of, like, you know, visual, like, fuckery that they're doing. But are you one of them? No. And then they got this logo over here, which I swear I think is from, like, the Slender Man stuff. So it's, like, I, so I think I think I see, I think think this is, like, all from the Slender Man stuff. So if this is, like, a Slender Man thing the entire time, I'm gonna be like, okay, then. All right. Because I swear I've seen this on, like, I don't know where else. I've seen this on, like, the Slender Man. That's where I think I've definitely seen this shit. Just because uh, the whole Slenderman stuff was, uh, I think I think it was on like something awful originally, but I think this this was attached to it. I'm damn sure of that. Are you both of them? Both of what? You got this person sort of up there, and then as you progress through, remember to look behind you. Certainly look behind me. Don't worry. Thank you very much. Then you got this person walking into the place. By the way, I gotta say, with the combination of the visual fuckery and this stuff, it's actually very well shot, and I have to say that over and over again. And you have this, where it, like, completely destroys your ears. Alright, I apologize for that wholeheartedly. And that was the closest to a screamer you've ever received. So as the time goes on, it distorts, and then it turns into that. And that's frankly it. And then it gives you these numbers. 112, 126, 5476, 199276. And you got 112, 126, 545, 1400, 953. And then 112, 126, 545, 1400, 953. And I think it was the last number. 15582.361815640095. And then it ends. And that's it. You just get a bunch of numbers. Typically, you know, they got a they, they got a decimal in between them. I don't know the answer to that. It's just like, is this longitude latitude? You know what I mean? That's the first thing I think of with it. Is this like some really in-depth, but then it couldn't be longitude and latitude, right? It's like I don't understand, like, what am I supposed to be figuring out, right? Like, what is the actual answer here? And the thing is, it doesn't seem like what I'm getting here is an actual answer. Like, it just feels like I'm getting sort of jerked off with this whole thing. And that's really it. Hold on. It feels like, it feels like I'm just getting really, like, jerked off with this sort of thing, though, too. But it's like... I don't think it's related to the to the weird stuff we saw before. I think the VCR font is just like really common shit for everyone to use. I mean, I use it for my videos too, but it's just like coming across as I don't really know what to really say about it other than it is interesting, but at the same time, I feel like because I'm not really seeing it from um from start to end how I think this person envisioned it, it's not really hitting me. 
But the thing is, who are the liars? Are we both of them? Let me know in the comment section below what you think. Well done video, I must say. Definitely got some nice visual fuckery to it. I will give them that. But I think it's time we break it off and hit something else. Remote neural monitoring. Oh, man, we getting that conspiracy shit going on. Robert C. Gunn, PhD, Arbor, Michigan, is an NSA clinical psychologist involved in the human and constitutional rights violations of mind control. He has committed unthinkable atrocities worldwide. Oh, shit, dude. Damn, this is good as some MK Ultra shit. I'm already excited. Gunn is involved in covert psychological warfare against innocent Americans and other global citizens. He is among the developers of psychotronic attacks, which is a highly advanced surreal form of mind control that is intended to induce suicide amongst his thousands of targets. That's fucked up. Jesus Christ. I mean, you know, like, here's the thing. I'm saying, like, I'm NSA clinical psychologist. Isn't the NSA just, like, data analysis? Like, whatever, man. But, like... This is like this is straight up like this is some MK Ultra shit because like I don't know man like MK Ultra is like one of those weird things like I'm interested in it like a lot but the thing is it's like it's so spread the fuck out right that it's like you can't fucking like properly pinpoint like to the extent of how far that's gone it's just such a giant giant massive scale operation too that was so covert for a while I mean it even landed so far as to having major like involvements here in Canada anyways which is fucking weird. Gun is involved in covert psychological warfare against innocent humans, blah, blah, blah. The mind control technology is known as remote neural monitoring. The technology employs satellite-delivered ELF extra-low frequencies to communicate voice-to-skull transmissions. This produces schizophrenic symptoms. ELF radio signals are used to communicate with naval submarines deep below the ocean surface. These frequencies can pinpoint a target anywhere on Earth and can penetrate water, rock, concrete, and other dense matter. Consider this, the brain is composed of neurons, wires, okay, and is powered by low electrical currents, much like insects communicates with non-contact antenna, all right? Humans can communicate with radio transceivers. Just like each of us having a genetic, you know, like unique genetic code, DNA, each one has their own distinct radio frequencies. You find the frequencies, and a terror technician, what a job title, can communicate directly to the brain. Gunn is part of the development team that created a protocol of torturing victims. For decades, Gunn worked as a clinical psychologist at the Ann Arbor Veterans Affairs Hospital. There, Gunn deprogrammed World War II, Korean War, and Vietnam War prisoners of war. That sounds like a pretty nice lad. I mean, you, you can sort of tell, because, like, when you came back from those wars, like, specifically the Nam War, like, there was a lot of torture, -y. like, POW stuff, like, you have to understand, in those kind of wars, even, like, wars nowadays, like, there's a lot of torture that goes on. Like, you think fucking, like, you, you honestly think anybody follows, like, any form of Geneva Protocols? No, like, POWs, they get tortured to ever-loving fuck. Like, they get, they get fucking broken, and so, like... You know, guns, guns are pretty, guns are pretty decent psychologists if he's like un, unbreaking these people, which most of the time they're just so far gone that it's like, there's no point. Like if you ever seen like, it, like you can find the footage online and there's no problem. You can like see some of these people, like how they fucking react. It's like, they're like far fucking gone just because they go through so much shit so quick. Gunn learned the secrets of mind control torture techniques by deprogramming the POWs. Then in the 1980s, Gunn was recruited to work on the Strategic Defense Initiative, normally known as the Star Wars program. Oh, yeah. For those of you who don't know what the Star Wars program is, it was back in America where, like, they basically, when I, because basically they had ICBMs, like intercontinental ballistic missiles and shit, like, miss, before, between the Soviets and the Americans, they had, like, a, Combined, if you took both of their firearms, like their missiles, they had enough to blow the world up like seven or eight times. So basically what the Americans said is if the Soviets launch a missile, Soviets, Chinese, whoever, they could have satellites in the sky that could intercept the missile as it was coming in and it would destroy the missile as it was traveling around to hit the U.S. So it was basically like in... I guess you could say, like, an orbital defense weapon, right? Like, if you ever played, like, Call of Duty Ghost, fucking great reference, Halo, if you ever played Halo Reach, that, like, Anchor 9 or something in that, like, where you had to, like, defend it, it was almost kind of like that, satellites to stop that kind of shit. Anyways, moving on. He had already been involved in land-based mind control experiments involving mobile microwave triangulation transmissions. Gun and his staff of technicians could isolate a victim and beam radio signals into the victim's home. Now, unbelievably, these attacks are delivered via satellite. In addition to mind control torture, Gun and others developed a methodology to produce remote-delivered body shocks to the groin and elsewhere. The third component of this torture involved holographic projections and audible acoustic projections. Finally, the fourth component of the electronic harassment involves gang stalking. 
And this involves actual incidents of community operatives stalking and spying on neighbors. Sometimes the gang stalkers are paid operatives that are equipped with electronic eavesdropping devices, infrared detectors, x-ray viewers, and directed energy weapons to fire off high-energy microwave pulses. Okay, that's getting a little bit sci-fi territory. Gunn is involved with the covert unit of the National Security Agency. The unit operates like Nazi Gestapo agents, without regard for human or constitutional rights. The first reports of these attacks surfaced throughout Michigan and Canadian border communities. Michigan is the only state in the nation to enact legislation outlawing this type of electronic harassment, which lends credibility to the fact that these covert ops exist. The ADA, I'm not going to deny that this kind of shit exists, dude. There's some fucked up stuff that happens in the world, so this ain't far. The ADA, Michigan, Ada Wong, the Michigan-based Amway Foundation is among the many right-wing organizations to help fund this quasi-government domestic torture group. The founders of Amway are the largest contributor to the Bush family's so-called New World Order, which is a high-tech offspring of the Michigan militia. Amway is notorious for gang-stalking people who seek to escape the pyramid scheme scuffed cultures. The targets of these attacks are often estranged domestic partners, Jews, blacks, women, disabled people, whistleblowers, people seeking criminal and civil justice, and local degenerates who are addicted to drugs or alcohol. Jeez, man. Gunn and his wife, Leah, the co-chair of the Washtenaw County uh, Commission, are involved in local homeless shelter projects. Gunn has conducted psychological interviews of numerous homeless people and then used the information in his subject experiments. Robert Gunn is an undetected human rights violator. Google the following combined terms. Remote neural monitoring. NSA lawsuit. Also research gang stalking, MK Ultra mind control. Thank you for your interest and concern. And then after this, they got basically a giant mentioning of like all these things. And here they've got like brain area, bioelectrical resonance frequency, information induced through modulation. Yeah, so it's like at 15 hertz, you can fuck around with somebody's auditory cortex, thought centers, things like that. You go down, it has more things linking this Robert Gunn and his wife even to this kind of shit. They even got like books that you can buy, look at. There's a lot of stuff into this that you can like really look into. Jesus Christ, conspiracy database on this website. Let's go to that one. What the fuck? Yeah, it takes me to Google. Well, I don't I don't need to go to Google. That's, that's not really my concern. Uh, wait, actually, let me try it again. Is it? No, it's not even taking me to any form of search. Huh. That's rather weird, I must say. Um, okay. So, here's the thing. All right. Am I going to be fucking sitting over here, like, stimulating your brains with, like, conspiracies? I don't think I have to. You know, you can look into things like Project Paperclip, even, for example, where, like, the states, like, basically got a bunch of Nazis, gave them new identities, new names, and made them work inside their own, like, made them work in the United States to build new things that they could use to investigate, you know, new weapons, things like that. That, that was a whole operation that you can read up on. In fact, it's, it's taught to people. So uh, nobody's innocent in the entire fucking world. No country, no big ass country is truly an innocent fucking player in any of this shit. But look, I can't ever confirm if the stuff is real because do, do I look like, do I look like a fucking guy and an expert of remote neural monitoring? No. Um, but the thing is this kind of stuff exists on the free net because this kind of stuff could be potentially fucking damaging to somebody, to somebody like, yeah, I'm not going to say Robert C. Gunn is a fucking human rights violator. I have no idea who, I don't even know what Robert C. Gunn looks like. But the thing is, it's like for the States, right? Having this kind of information for any country, having this kind of information, they don't want it out there. I know we say we're very free when it comes to like posting stuff online. And that's, that is very true. But sometimes you keep posting stuff like this, whether it's true or not, it leads to some pretty fucking, you know, shady shit that happens to somebody down the road. So I hope D Finney is okay. And frankly, whether this stuff exists or not, it's fucking scary to think that it has a potential to happen. So again, I'm not saying it's real or not. I have no fucking idea who Robert C. Gunn is. I, I don't know. All right. For all I know, this could be some fucking fairy tale La La Land bullshit. But was an interesting La La Land bullshit? You bet your ass. I was thoroughly enjoying this fucking shit because you know what? It's this kind of stuff that I like the Deep Web series for. Because you end up learning about shit that, like, totally blows your fucking mind. There's sometimes, even when you look at the black goo stuff, and it's like, wow. Because that stuff is genuinely interesting, right? Even though most of the time it is bullshit. Just like this is interesting to me, personally, all I can really say. But I'm going to end this whole thing right over here. And frankly, let's go uh, handle something else, all right? How about that? Let's let's get out of this and, 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 and see something a little less 
conspiracy laden, I guess. What is this? DP is back, bitch. Look at this sweet new site. This some slick shit can't deny. It's like this person just learned some HTML, dude. They got they got some shit set up here. The the cave. Get it here. Get it now, bitch. Other archives. That's right. Early releases. They're almost here. Are they? <laughs> what the fuck is this? Veracrypt encryption. Yo, right here at Veracrypt project. So you don't know Veracrypt. If you're ever like, for example, when I run like deep, when I whenever I run like anything on my computer, I have things running through like encryption software. So like Veracrypt, I would recommend. It, you know, it depends on what you do. For me, because I work with sensitive, like, because I work video anyways, it's just, like, encrypting my stuff just because I don't like people looking into my computers like that or, like, taking away, like, drives. Basically, what Veracrypt is, it creates a, uh, I guess you could say, like, I use it for the, I use it for VMs anyway. So, like, when I make a VM, I put it in a Veracrypt file. So, what happens is it makes, like, a partition, on, like, a giant, like, if you're making a 20, it makes a 20 gig file. Right. And it's like it has a random, you know, cipher to it. It has a random way of encryption, whatever you want two fish, things like that creates an encryption and you can put whatever you want inside there and things are theoretically safe to begin with. So that's what Veracrypt is. Some of us asked what we're about. Fuckery. That's what we're about. <laughs> I love it. Fuckery. That's all it is. Nothing, nothing even bigger than that. No, like take over the world, steal millions of dollars. Just one word. Fuckery. They got zines. <sighs> Man, the last time I heard that shit was so long ago, zines. They've got Hack of the Planet, Hack of the Planeta, Hack the Planet 4, Hack the Planet 5. I think my Spanish impersonation was downright offensive. I apologize for that. What the hell is this? Drive the Lambo. Oh, that's a fucking pretty-ass Lambo, dude. You know what? That's probably, um, that, that's actually, like, one of the, that's one of those wraps they put on the Lambo. Oh my god, that is a... That is a trippy wrap. Basically what it is, they wrapped it up so it's like when the light reflects off it, it's literally just like, it's just like rainbows and shit. That's really fucking pretty though. I mean, it looks kind of retarded maybe, but like, this, shit, this shit's pretty, I gotta I got say. This is Heck the Planet. What is this? In commonly used passwords we trust? Huh? What do you want? Oh, Blade Crash Override, Acid Burn. Oh, this is a, that's, really you don't know? Uh, what do you want? We come in peace. If you're up for it, you're up for it. She's buff, ballsy. Let's keep her, dude. Wasted, dude. We need your help to overload the Gibson so we can kill the Da Vinci virus and download the worm program. She's rabbit, but cute. Yeah. Basically, for those of you who uh, who don't know, that whole beginning of it was um, – that that whole excerpt is actually from an old 90s movie. It's called Hacker with John Lee Miller and Angelina Jolie, one of the dumbest – movies ever but also a guilty pleasure if you've never watched it make it a trip go on netflix after and just treat yourself to a really dumb hacker movie uh, you can probably find it anywhere else but yeah that's what it's from that's where the whole hack the gibson thing is from too <laughs> you know if you ever seen the memes or whatever um uh, they basically list like a bunch of it's just some this is just some hack of the planet shit this is basically like yeah, uh, how could you say text fuckery in text form? I guess All right, interesting stuff. Let's go to the next stuff here. Did you remember uh, Lulsec in the news lately? Oh man, Lulsec is dead, isn't it? At this point, like they fucking disbanded. Apparently, in agreement how or L I L O I. Oh my god, L O I C the fucking toss shit and make media headlines today. Oh, oh, they're calling them out, dude. Various attention whoring skit injections of Lulsec. Oh, they're calling them script kitties, dude. Tell them they got LFI, Matt, LOIC. That's fucking crazy, dude. Succeeding and defacing the name of the anti-sec movement, turning into a faux revolutionary battle cry in the form of anti-sec. All right, so, oh my God, dude. They fucking, they just call them, am I witnessing, am I witnessing some beef going on here, dude? Dude, what? North Korea of the internet since 2011. Um, is this like an analytical page? I, I fucking can't stand the non-word wrapped ASCII art. That's, that's totally pissing me off. But, uh, shit, okay, we basically, oh my god. Sabu, Grand Wizard, didn't Sabu get like this? Grand Wizard of Lulsec and Down with Anonymous. Despite all this, some of the clue bags in the media apparently thought that by Down with Anonymous, we'd we be down with the lol Anonymous Legion, yo. Oh my god. Alright, I think, I think I'm seeing something politically charged between hackers, and I, I, don't, I don't even care. I'm, I just want to drive the Lambo, okay? Uh, take, take me to, take me to green text, how about that? Greentext.cock and nah, anything with cock on it. I don't want to just fire up, dude. That's gonna be some spooky shit. Keep watching Pastebin. As soon oh, there's some fucking doxing going on there. Uh they'll get a Bitcoin eventually. They got an anime. Oh man, I can't wait to see the anime. Thank you, no terror. Oh boy, let's go see this. Let's go see what the anime is all about while it's loading up. 
And again, we just get to drive the Lambo. They got free mail. Copyright DP 2015. Fidget. Fuck your coat. <laughs> My God. They got an I2P RC channel. Hashtag salt. Come on. Load up your anime. I want to see it. This is the thing with a lot of these like sites. Take a little bit of time to load up. But as far as you come across, we come across an actual hacker group. DP. All right. Or, or a hacker individual. I don't know. I don't want to make some assumptions here. But... <laughs> You know, we've came across somebody who's back apparently and they're really talking shit to some of these other hacker sites or hacker groups on the internet. And frankly, I think I'm entering a, oh, I wasn't here. Damn it. Uh, no, I went to this site called My Anime List. Apparently, Zanky no Terror. Uh, left behind after a terrorist attack on a nuclear facility in Japan, the government is shattered by their inability to act and the police are left frantically searching for ways to crack down the perpetrators. A strange video makes its way to the internet. Two teenage boys identify as only a sphinx directly challenge the police, threatening to cause destruction and mayhem across Tokyo, unable to stop the mass panic. But Oh my god. Dude, I want to see this anime. Jesus fucking Christ. It's actually sounding really freaking amazing. Okay, I know what I'm watching later. Thank you, DP. So, DP showed me an amazing Zenku no Terror anime. I'm totally going to fucking hit that shit up. That looks goddamn exciting. I was supposed to be watching Game of Thrones with the other guys, but I, I, it's got to be added to the list, man. It's got to be added to the list. But that is apparently uh, DP, where it all started. I don't know exactly what it what really started, but you know what? I I, I, I guess I'm going to listen to DP and just, just sit the fuck back down in my hole and frankly let it all roll out because I don't want to be in between this hacker warfare. So let's get out of here and do something else. Here it is. Escape to death. The story so far, oh man, I'm going to love this. You are trapped in school detention for a crime you didn't commit. Death traps and rooms full of hostile teachers await you in your escape. Can you make it out alive? You know, you can just like wait for detention to be fucking over, right? You don't, you don't have to, you, you don't have to like go in and fucking, <laughs> you don't have to do that. All right, let's start the adventure. Let's, let's fucking die, dude. <laughs> I love the fucking, I love this shit. It's like Kid Picks level crap. You are, in de you are in detention in room 10 and you know fine well no one ever leaves the hour alive. You must seize the opportunity to find a way out of the damn school or die trying. Okay, well, I might as well take the fucking hacksaw because why not? I don't think it's going to be particularly, fa I don't know. Let's take the hacksaw first because, you know, we might as well, might, might as well be fucking... Might as well be good. You take the hacksaw that was concealed by some previous unfortunate. It may come in useful. Do we attack the teacher, run for the door, throw hacksaw at rope supporting globe? Let's attack the teacher, dude. Holy shit! You kill the teacher with your hacksaw and you pull it out of his corpse for another day. Blood runs down the desk he was sitting at. Okay, so I killed the teacher. Thank you, fucking lord. Uh, what is a rope supporting the globe? Ah, oh, wait. The hacksaw cuts down. Oh my lord. Is it bleeding even more, dude? What the fuck? Oh, it just, that's so weird. It's like, it's so animated. Well, the dude bleeds when I do that. The hacksaw cuts the rope and the globe crashes the floor with an almighty noise. You hear a foot. No, nah, dude, we don't want to do that. Run for the door. You hot footed out of the detention, but a teacher is coming along the corridor to you. Oh, go back into room 10. Why? You little. Oh, no. He saw me. Throw the hacksaw. Kill her. Okay, there we go. We we got her. We, we squished the teacher. To, that globe must weigh a ton, dude. It fucking melted her. All right, get out of room 10. Looking right along the corridor, you can see room 12, the art room. Walk right. I'm killing people in a school, by the way. This is pretty fucked up. The door to the art room looms in front of you. There will likely be a hostile teacher inside. Will you stride in boldly to lure them out or noisily? Nah, we... Uh, wait. Knock the folders over. Whatever those folders are, let's do that. Let's knock her out and bring her here. The what? You knock the folders down, her door creaks open, and a shotgun blast catches you? Ah, oh, what? Walk in. You creep inside the art room. In the corner, you see a teacher by the kiln. Why the fuck would there be a shotgun? Which is about to reach temperature. He's standing next to the road table that you could slide by. Push him into the kiln first, I guess. You, I mean, we're a fucking murderer, dude, but I gotta get out of detention or I could die. You catch the teacher on unawares and he burns real good in the kiln. Congratulations, you've killed three now. There's no way through here, so you turn back around the... Well, I don't need to kill this, dude. Let's go back and go downstairs, sure. You see that there are two ways you can venture out. Left takes you towards the staff room and a convenient right into the car park. Right leads you to the main corridor, which will be an extremely dangerous palace. Uh, pa palace place. All right, let's go to the dangerous place. You are standing looking down at the main corridor towards the reception. You know what lurks in the rooms on either side. I make this quick. Uh, let's go to 8 and 9. Oh my god, what am I doing? Seriously, 9, uh, chemistry lab? Yeah, let's go to the chemistry lab. 
You, chemistry. Fortunately, teachers admiring the poster of polymers. You have to choose between one of three chemicals and a bench to use against him. Um, use a spherical flask. You lean over to sniff the fluids. Oh dear, the vapor seems to be making you. Oh no, I fucking. God damn it. All right, what is this? Patrol? Yeah, right there. Throw it at him. You decide to throw it with your. Oh my god! Holy shit, dude! Toasting marshmallows are confiscated last week. What story is this? Okay, all right, so I killed that teacher. Let's go up to nine. Oh, no, dude, somebody with a shotgun always comes at me. All right, whatever, we took care of that. Let's go to the, let's go to room seven, sure. Physics teacher is writing about distances to the sun on the board. You have to choose. Uh, hit him in the chest, hit him in the crown jewels. How about that? Your physics teacher encounters you. Oh, man, the physics teacher fucking it's John Wick. Physics, Ray, <laughs> I'm what? Hit him in the chest. No, physics teacher is a fucking golden bastard. Oh, wait, hit him in the face, gets knocked out. Nice work. Well, apparently he slips onto the electrode and dies. God damn. What a fucking murder. Wait, you find a hand grenade in one of the cupboards. You smirk and put it in your pocket. It's time to return to the main corridor. Okay, let's go back to the reception. How may I help you, little turd? You are in the reception. Don't let their friendly manner fool you. They are neo-Nazis. Well, I'll throw the grenade then. You throw it in. Dead, dude. Holy crap, she dismembered. Ugh. Okay, turn around. Uh, what do we do? Go into room four, I guess. History teacher is Rick to the door to the guillotine. Wait, oh. Oh, dude, the history teacher's fucking psycho. What am I looking at? Okay, wait, here we go. Biology teacher is hard at work. Snap his pathetic neck. You snap his neck, drop to the floor with a queer look on his face. It's time to search him. Do it. You find a key. This says basement toilets. Perhaps it's worth going back towards the toilets near the staff room to check it out. There's always a risk of getting sodomized, though. Well, yeah, let's go get sodomized. You look at the... Oh, wait, wait, wait. At the bottom of the steps leading to the toilets, a caretaker. He's not going to let you past him. Uh, go be... No, throw the board at him, dude. And he's dead, apparently. Find the door. Go outside. Your door outside leaves the daylight at last. You can see a fence over which you can escape the wretched school. Run. The math department are waiting for you. Aw, oh, damn it. And they fucking killed me. Well, I did escape to my death. I can't believe the protagonist didn't make it. Well, I mean, clearly I didn't. The math department fucked me up. They gave me a lot of calculus lessons until I was bored to death. Ladies and gentlemen, that was the escape to death. Um, <laughs> what an adventure, I must say. We basically tried escaping from school, and I think I killed a lot more people than I should have. I think they might even had a non-lethal playthrough. So, hey, maybe if you want me to we play the game on the deep, <laughs> fucking full circle. If you ever want to see me do a non-lethal run of Escape to Death, by all means, ask me. But thank you, Jeff. Copyright 1995-2007. I want to suck some of that dick because that was, frankly, a great game. I love the animation. Let's, uh... <laughs> Let's back out of this and go to something else, huh? And ladies and gentlemen, that was another episode of Deep Web Browsing, episode number 85. Ladies and gentlemen, we've seen some definitely interesting stuff today. We've seen some jokes, seen some fornification, and frankly, we've seen a video that rather left me interest interested. And uh, aside from that, <laughs> some lovely mind control <laughs> information. But let me know what you thought about it. If you like what you saw, please like, comment, and subscribe. Just like if you dislike it. Let me know what you thought about this episode in the comment section below. I hope you enjoyed it. I really do. And I hope you have an amazing Sunday today. And that being said, thank you for showing up. It means a whole lot to me that y'all support the series and anything else that happens on the channel. This is me, Mudahar, and I am out. Mm -hmm.